people, it is your boy Naif and I am back with the United Point and um, I'm just going to give you a little recap of what is going on in Man United because there is a lot going on as of right now and none of it is positive. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. As you may know, we are in the transfer window and um, you know, for other clubs, this is usually a positive time for, for the fans, you know, because there is usually good excitement and buzz around the club about signing new players that they probably need. Or just youthful players, you know, some new talent to bring to the club. And um, unfortunately for us United fans, the uh, transfer window isn't really a positive time for us. And uh, this transfer window, despite a couple months ago, it having the possibility of being a very fun time for us, it isn't. Uh, there is currently a civil war going on inside Manchester United within or between the um, players and the coaching staff. And um, it is honestly just embarrassing, if I'm being totally honest. And there's a lot of clicks, cliques, whatever you want to call them, within the dressing room. And um, there's a lot of rumours. Players are legit stabbing other players in the back in terms of spreading rumours about other players and want what they want and the coaching. And it's honestly just horrible. And, um, you know, if you watch a United match, you can probably see the effects of this on the pitch. Players can't pass, there's no chemistry, there's no charisma. And I mean, a lot of you have probably seen the picture of Phil Jones with his head held high, jumping and coming out the tunnel. The rest of the players looking like they're attending a funeral. You know, it, it makes sense now. How many times have I been complaining during the watch-alongs and whatnot about our passing and the fact that there's no chemistry and it looks like these players never play with each other? I mean, clearly, this is the reason why they don't like each other. Whether they're fighting the other players or whether they're fighting the coaching or the manager, is it's affecting us on the field. And honestly, it's embarrassing. You know, there's rumours about how players are jealous about how Ronaldo comes straight into the team and he gets to play every single game and he gets to do this and he gets to do that. And why how why is he a leader? It's just like, huh? We're talking about Ronaldo. We're talking about the best player of all time, arguably. We're talking about the best striker in the world right now, arguably. You're talking about the greatest player to ever play for Manchester United. And players have the cheek to come and argue and question Ronaldo's authority as of right now. It's honestly, it's honestly, I don't know whether I should be embarrassed or ashamed. Or I'm I'm honestly bewildered by some of the, by, by by the sheer confidence of some of these players. I don't know who it is. I don't know who these players are. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes but honestly someone and it's not even just someone all of these lot need to get a grip they need to get a grip i personally feel like i mean it's not just there's not just rumors and whatnot about ronaldo there's players hating on other players there's play a lot of them are hating on the management talking about how the manager is or they're just doubting his tactics and whatnot and first of all i don't understand how you can really be doubting Ragnick's tactics when he's developed a successful philosophy in football as of right now in terms of he has he was basically the father figure to the way Klopp plays football he was a father figure to the way Tuchel plays football this Jurgen Prest what and whatnot something that is successful right now he birthed it so for now these players for so now for these players to come out and talk about how they doubt his coaching and they doubt, who are you? Because if there was actually a coach for you to doubt, it was the one you were all buddy-buddy with a couple months ago. It was the one, it was, it was the one that you were loving off a couple months ago, throughout these couple of years. The one that you wanted to be best friends with. He is a manager that you should have been doubting because he was clueless. He had no tactics. So, I honestly don't, honestly, I don't, I, I actually don't know how to feel about this because um, I don't know if it can get better with the same set of players. And I don't, I'm not confident in how quickly Man United can deal with this situation. We're currently in a transfer window and in an ideal world, You'll be kicking out all of these lot that are causing all the mess, whether that's your best players or your worst players or just squad. You're kicking them out. You're getting rid of the issue. You're, you're solving the issue. You're 
solutions you're looking for solutions straight away direct solutions so you can get this season back on track before it's too late that's what an ideal world would look like that's what a good club a club like Chelsea City Liverpool Tottenham Arsenal would do us on the other hand I don't see us getting rid of any players in this January transfer window I see us keeping a lot of these players I see us posting countless amounts of media talking about how positive everything is and how we're signing this new director of whatever and how we're selling this amount of shirts and how Ronaldo scored this amount of goals in 2007 and how and how Matters team won in the training ground and whatnot all smiles. I see that happening until the summer. But as a result of that happening, I also see us getting eighth place in this season. I also see us coming out of the Champions League very, very soon. And I also see a lot of our star players, a lot of our best players leaving. Whether that's the players that are causing the issues now or, or whether that's just because the players are sick of it. Because I would be sick of it right now, if I'm being totally honest with you. If I'm Cristiano Ronaldo, I'm leaving at the end of the season. I came back, I tried, this club is a mess. I've only got two or three years that I can play football. I'm going to win elsewhere. I've, I came back, I fulfilled the prophecy. I'm sorry it didn't work out. you got to blame the club for this peak and it i'm gone ronaldo i tweeted or i was gonna tweet these are players i think that are gonna leave ronaldo at the end of the season i feel like he's gone cavani's gone uh lingard is gone martial's gone we're looking at maybe Mata going we're looking at maybe matic going we're looking at maybe who else i know there's more pogba pogba's going if I'm Bruno Fernandes, I'm going to start thinking about going as well because clearly this club isn't <laughs> what the name says. You know what I mean? Clearly the history, like, United used to be here, but right now we're mid. Um, so I'll be looking, if I'm him, I'm looking to go elsewhere. But basically what I'm trying to say is we are, I personally believe that it's going to get worse before it gets better. Um, I see this getting a lot worse. I see us tumbling in the table dropping points stupidly and us you know hearing a lot of leaks and um I, I honestly feel sorry for Ralph I'm not saying Ralph is perfect you know I I have made a lot of comments on some of the decisions that he made in the match previously coming out in that formation was a dreadful decision the substitutions that he made were dreadful um even the selection was a bit questionable so he's not perfect, but at the same time, for these players to be doing what they're doing to him right now is a joke. And it just makes Mourinho's, I mean, Mourinho said it, his greatest achievement was coming second with these players. And these players really do own the club. These players really do turn on managers and they get what they want. And we're looking at it yet again. When these players down tools on a manager, there's only one way that that manager's going and it's out the club. So me personally, I'm behind the manager. Even though I don't think Ralph is the greatest and I still feel like we should have got Conte I'm behind the manager because these players really do um, do my head in. I honestly only like maybe a handful of them and even then I, I, a, lot, a lot of them just make me just they just bore me I'm just tired of them so uh, me per yeah I'm, I'm personally behind the manager I can't lie I want a lot of these players gone but then you got to if we were, if I supported Chelsea and this was happening at Chelsea or City or Liverpool, I'll probably be optimistic. I'd be like, yeah, most of these players causing these issues will, will be leaving. But because I support Manchester United, I understand that we are more of a brand and a company than a football club. So I personally believe the club will do whatever that they can in order to facilitate the needs of the players causing this mess. Because I actually believe that a lot of the players causing this mess in our club are the ones with the biggest names. Um, and I personally believe that a lot of these players causing issues are English. I'm not going to state names. Uh, I think it's pretty obvious who I'm talking about or who, the many that I'm talking about. Um, honestly, I just feel like these lots should be disgusted. Honestly, just get out of the club. If I'm being honest with you, just leave. Like, But yeah, that's all. That's all I'm going to say on this. Um, make sure to follow us on Twitter because I'm going to be keeping you up to date on what's going on on Twitter. 
and um yeah you know right now if you if you support united we're in very tough times but until the next video try your best to keep your head up guys um you know it, it is most likely going to get worse before it gets better but you know it is what it is but until next time i'll see you lot later my name is nath this is united point peace